The Adventures of Johnny McGorry Johnny McGorry and the Wild Water Race by Emma Jane Leeson Illustrated by Kim Shaw I'll tell you a story about Johnny McGorry, his little sister Lily May and their trusty dog Rory. The clever two are three and seven years old. They're usually good, but they're sometimes bold. On most summer evenings, the family take a walk down by the Grand Canal where they sing and talk. The midges are out in force, taking bites from everyone, but nobody really minds because they're having so much fun. They see their granddad Paddy making flower pots for his boat. Johnny and Lily May run over and snuggle into his coat. Sure look it, says Paddy. Will you join me on a cruise? There's a problem with a locket and there's no time to lose. Johnny loves his granddad's barge, where he can wander and roam. There's a kitchen, a bathroom and two bedrooms in the floating home. Mammy puts on the life jackets as Paddy cranks the engine to life. The kids love the orange life vests with the white reflective stripe. The canals were made years ago for barges, Paddy shouts, for a path through Ireland so merchants could get about. Their faithful horses would pull the barges full of cargo along. The men would laugh and talk and sing a boatman's song. Johnny loves listening to Paddy as he stands and helps him steer. And he learns more about Ireland's canals every single year. Johnny spots Mr Otter waving like mad from the bank. He somersaults into the water from the diving plank. We're going to have a race. Will you and Rory join in? That'll be grand, says Johnny. Sure, we might even win. Ahoy there, shouts Paddy as they approach the broken lock. He ties up Kula, the barge, on the black and wooden block. Mammy and Lily May pick blackberries as the men start fixing the gate. Daddy warns Johnny and Rory, don't go wandering and come back late. I promise I'll be back on time, Johnny says to his smiling dad. He never means to get in trouble or to make his parents mad. Mr Otter leads them down the steep bank to a special place, to a stream that runs under the canal to have a water race. The duck family are there with heron and lots of frogs. Dusty, the old barge horse, shows them a raft made of logs. Dusty takes the thick rope, one of a mighty Irish team. He's going to pull Johnny and Rory down the shallow stream. Mr Otter has a fine boat made from moss and twigs and rope. The duck's boat is made of lily pads and is the fastest, they hope. Heron is at the starting line getting them ready to begin. Miss Swan is at the finish line to see who will win. Heron flaps his wings. On your marks, get set, go! The race begins with everybody lined up in a row. Mrs Pike joins in too, so the stream is pretty tight. But Steady Dusty pulls them along, the job he's done all his life. Mr Otter's boat gets tangled up in the thick bulrush. The ducks are so busy quacking, they sail into a bush. Mr Trout and Mrs Pike swim so fast they are nearly there, but they see a swarm of flies and start feasting elsewhere. Faithful Dusty keeps on going, one slow step at a time. Johnny shouts, hooray, as they pass the finish line. Miss Swan says, you're the winners. There's no shadow of a doubt. 
Johnny rubs the horse's ears and laughs. We're happy out. Rory hears Mammy shouting, so they have to make a run. Back up to the canal to tell Lily May about all the fun. Mammy is fierce angry as Johnny appears from up the slope. You put the heart crossways on me, she says, untying the rope. I'm really sorry, says Johnny. I didn't mean to be late. Ah, don't worry, says Paddy. We've just finished the gate. Everyone gets back on the barge and Johnny sits beside Lily May. And as Mammy gets berries and ice cream, he tells her about his day. Lily May hears about the race and all his exciting friends. He fills her in on Dusty, Heron, Mrs Swan and how it ends. Lily May can't wait until she's old enough to go. I'm dying to join Johnny and Rory on the adventures they do. Quish, Mahushla, Mammy says to her daughter. You'll have many more years to enjoy life on the water. When they get home, they brush their teeth and climb into their beds and dream of Ireland's magical waterways fill their tired heads. Johnny can't help wondering what his next adventure will be and he promises Lily May, I'll bring you along with me. Now guys, can you name Johnny McGorry's friends? Who is... This guy, I think that's the heron. This is his dog, do you remember his name? That's Rory. And then the horse is called, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, the horse is called Dusty. And there's a fish, I think that's called Mrs. Pike. And who's this? This is the otter. And there's the little ducky. Did he have a name? Um, I don't think so. Um, doo -doo -doo. No, he is just called one of the ducks. <laughs> the end. Hi guys, how are you? Um, that was the most Irish story I have ever read <laughs> with all the little Irish sayings and slang I hope I pronounced all them properly some of them um, I wouldn't even hear that often they're a bit more country <laughs> than where I'm from but uh, it was a good story and I have some some Irish activities for us to do today um, I have some colouring pages on the GAA, the Irish flag, um, a few of the counties or the map of Ireland, which are really nice and they're, they're mindfulness colouring pages. So the spaces are really small, so we can try really, really hard and practice colouring uh, within those little spaces and trying to keep within the lines. But if we don't keep within the lines, it's OK. It's not the end of the world. We can still make a beautiful picture. And as well, I have some information on Aaron Naveen, which is our national anthem, the soldier song. Just because I thought the book was so Irish, might as well do a few more Irish activities. So the PowerPoint is just a bit of information on how the anthem was created, around what time and who wrote it. And then I'm pretty sure it has it in the Irish version, which is the one that we all sing, and the English version as well, which I'd never heard the English version until I read it in the activity. So it gives you a good translation, but it also has the Irish version and there is a MP3 file at the end of it with, um, with somebody singing it lovely in the Irish version. But if that doesn't work, you can go on YouTube and have a look for it because there's loads. So uh, I hope you enjoy them and I will see you in the next video. Slán!